Today, we turn the page and we begin a new era with Terry Pagula. Uh, this franchise was not for sale. It's Terry's persistence that got Tom to agree to sell it. Uh, Terry is passionate about the game of hockey. Uh, he's invested in our game in a, at a variety of levels, including at the collegiate level. He's somebody who believes very much in community and family. He was a longtime Sabres season ticket holder. He believes in Buffalo and in Western New York. He loves the game, and this is a dream come true for him. And it's also a dream come true for us at the league because we know this franchise is in great hands, that the good work that has been done to date will only continue and be built upon. And I know he is probably as committed as anybody has ever been to bringing the Stanley Cup to Buffalo. So this is a great day for hockey in Buffalo. Uh, it's a great day for Sabres fans. It's a great day for the organization. And I know on a personal level, this probably fulfills a lifetime dream. So it is my pleasure to introduce the new owner of the Buffalo Sabres, Terry Pagula. Thanks, Gary, for giving my speech in advance. So, who am I? I am a Sabre fan and have been since 1975. And I'm, not, I'm going to try not to look this way too much because some of the old faces are Where's Peril? Uh, you're my hero. I'm the guy who lived in uh, Houston, Texas in 1979 and listen to that horrible overtime loss to the Penguins with, uh, you know, that was before there were cell phones and uh, direct TV. A friend of mine in Olean, New York, held his phone to his television and I listened to the game over the phone. Uh, I'm the guy who used to sit on an overpass north of Pittsburgh in the, in the early 80s and listen to WGR fade in and out, trying to listen to the, the Saber broadcasts. I'm the guy that met Kim and uh, married her. We got married on May 1st, 1993. And she asked me, where are we going on our honeymoon? And I thought, wow, I didn't even think about that one. Uh, and so my first reaction was, hey, the Sabres are playing in the Forum tomorrow. Let's go watch them play Montreal. <laughs> True story. <laughs> and she said, oh, that's great. And I thought, wow, she's better than I thought she was. <laughs> that series didn't turn out too good either. I hate, I hate to keep bringing up these bad series, but uh, I had eight season tickets for 18 years and to show you what kind of timing I have I gave them up in 1999 yeah go figure huh so what about the future starting today the Buffalo Sabres reason for existence will be to win a Stanley Cup the Buffalo Sabres and their fans Have you ever heard the saying, if you want to be the best, study the best? I want to steal a quote from uh, Art Rooney, the 
president of the uh, Pittsburgh Steelers. Mr. Rooney said, and I quote, panic doesn't seem to work. Our feeling is that you pick good people and you try to stick with them. If you have the right people in place, you always have a chance to be successful. I want the Buffalo Sabres to always have a chance and be successful so we can win a Stanley Cup. So I say that to whom much is given, much is required, and we will work as hard as we can to accomplish our goal. You know, it's been reported that I'm a hockey guy. Well, you know, I'm, I'm not a hockey guy like Darcy and Lindy and, and the other coaches, but uh, I think the first thing that we, Kim, myself, and coming in is to uh, try to help the feel-good part of it, you know, the player amenities, the feeling that uh, this is an organization that I want to play for and play hard. And we, you know, we, we did that well at East Resources. Some of my guys are here and they, they can tell you that in my previous business, we were so passionate that we never believed we lo ever lost at anything we tried to do. So uh, I want to bring that passion to the Sabres. That same, let's get them. Commissioner, obviously, uh, Mr. Pagul is very passionate about hockey. You've talked after you, the. You uh, should know. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> well, you talked after the after the gift was announced back in September about the impact that Penn State joining the NCAA will have, not only on college hockey but hockey in general in North America. Well, the what Penn State is now doing in hockey is indicative of the growth of the game at all levels, and. Terry Pagula has shown that he wants to invest in this game at all levels, and if you're a hockey fan anywhere, that's great news. Any chance uh, that might hasten a winter classic, perhaps, at Beaver Stadium in the future? You, the, it's always a possibility, but the amount of interest that we have from all over the place uh, is tremendous, so I'm, I'm not in a position to make any commitments right now, but we're aware of the interest. Thank you very much. Thank you.